Hey guys, it's 9.39 and um, my mom came about like 8.30 and um, picked up Aubrey's lunch in her bag for today because she's going to group. Um, then I went to the bathroom. Um, I've been downstairs here. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff to do today. Um, I was thinking to myself, I said, do I go back to bed, like sit down, relax and go back to bed or do I go for a walk? But I feel like I'm going to... Um, Definitely after yesterday feeling that way, like, I think I'm going to just, like, take the weekends off and do all week. Because, um, yeah, I'd rather do all week and then just take, take the weekend off. But Tuesday, you guys, Tuesday, okay, um, my brother's girlfriend has to go to the doctor. And it's, like, two and a half miles from where we live. Like, we're going to walk there. So it's two and a half miles there and then two and a half miles back back you guys like I am definitely gonna get a good walk in on Tuesday definitely gonna get a walk in on Tuesday so yeah like oh yes I haven't um gotten dressed or anything yet don't expect me to right away you guys <laughs> because um it's Saturday and my daughter's at group till three which means she'll be home at four so um yeah I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick I'm going to make hot coffee because I haven't had hot coffee in a while. And you guys, I'm doing this intermediate fast thing. So I haven't eaten since last night. <laughs> so um, at 10 o'clock, I'll, I'll make some eggs. So, yeah. But it's kind of hard because like I said, my, my thing is like snacking at night and it's so hard. It's like so hard. But I was out late last night. Kate was over at my brother's late, so. But, um. I'm gonna put some dishes away here while I'm standing here. Because I have a whole sink full of dishes that need to get put away. I mean, that need to get washed. So, I'm gonna do this. So I packed my daughter her lunch today. Um, normally I do like a hot lunch with like something she wants. Ooh, what the heck is that? Oh, that's soap. I was like, why the heck is my cup all oh, slimy? <laughs> but today I packed her. Um, so I got her. They have these new Mott Sensible juice boxes, which they're like 30% less sugar and like um, no artificial sweeteners and no colored dyes or any of that type of stuff. So I got her one of those, and then I made her a bottled water with, like, crystal light packet in it. So that's what she'll have for her drink. But then I made, um, I made her a, a cookie butter sandwich. Took the crust off because she don't like the crust. Um, then, um, I gave her two little small packs of her, of her, um, Welch's gummies. Um, I put a container, a little container full of, um yogurt covered raisins then I put cheese curls in a baggie for her, her snack um what else did I put I put a little thing of strawberries for her to have and I think that's basically it because she can have like the sandwich and the gummies or the sandwich or the strawberries and like one gummy for lunch and then she can have like the rest for her snack so and then two drinks are definitely enough so Okay guys, so I'm going to put this water on, get some coffee going, um, uh, let's see, um, actually you guys, I might bring you guys upstairs, I'm gonna go do, um, I wanna do like an official weigh-in for July, 
Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go upstairs right now. I'm going to do official weigh-in for July. Um, I'll show you guys because I'm going to weigh myself. I think I'm going to weigh myself every Saturday now. That's what I'm going to do. Or maybe, well, today I'll do it every Saturday. But I'm normally I would do it like every Friday is what I would normally do. But um, I'll go up and do it now because I'm going to go upstairs and quickly get dressed while my water's um, waiting to boil here. I'll quickly go upstairs and get dressed. And you guys, will, ugh, my bed is full of clothes. Like, I need to put clothes away. So, let's go upstairs real quick. My goal, you guys, okay? Which, I don't know if it's going to happen because my birthday is in two months. So, I know it's a long shot. Like, a very, very long shot. But I would love to get down to close to 140, 145 by my birthday. Which, like I said, that's like a long shot, you guys. Because... Even though I go walking every day, and I know with keto, you can lose it, like, fast. But, see, with me, I don't have a whole bunch of weight to lose. So, I don't know if my body's, like, not going to let me lose a whole bunch. Because, like, one, usually when I hit to 140, my body doesn't let me get any lower, usually. Like, from before when I did, like, 21 Day Fix, which is, like, a, a meal thing where you have these, like, colored containers... And it's like green, purple, red, um, yellow, and orange, and blue. And like obviously the green was veggies, the purple was your fruits, the red was your protein, the yellow was your carb, and then the blue was like your fat, fats and stuff like that. So you would have a certain amount of those a day to eat. You'd have to fill the containers and eat a certain amount of them a day. And I did that for like one or two months. I think it was one month. Like I would I would do their workouts too. Like you had upper body, you had lower body, you had like um, cardio fix, you had all these different ones. There was either one for like Pilates and yoga that you had to do. And I would do my workout plus I would go for a walk with my daughter every day. I'd go for a mile walk with my daughter. And I got down to 140 from doing that. And I don't, I don't really want to do the 21 day fix again because like I want to do something that I can stick with because with 21 day fix in order for you to continue to lose, you, you literally have to live like that your whole life. Like containers, 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 containers. So it's like, I don't know, but I could easily do the workouts and not just eat that way because the workouts were good. So I could easily just do the workouts. So, um, <clears throat> Um, let's see here, guys. Um, I got my scale right here. Now, I'm doing it a little different for you guys today. <laughs> normally, as bad as that, like, TMI, not TMI, but, like, normally I weigh myself with nothing on. Probably just my underwear. I don't weigh myself with anything on because I don't want the extra baggage. <laughs> but, like, I'll just do it for you guys today. And then, like, um... I'll start my weigh-ins, like, showing you guys the scale right away so that obviously you can't see me. But, um, yeah, let me just get this thing here going here, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, you see how it, I gotta press, go like this. I'll zoom in for you guys. Now I can step on the scale. Let's see here. 1.5. I'm going to do it one more time, you guys, just to make sure. But it says 168.5. Which, oh my god, you guys, that's horrible. Let me do it one more time. Okay, one more time. Okay, now I don't know which one to believe, you guys, here. Let me try it one more time. Maybe I need new batteries. I'm not sure if it's because I'm holding the camera. But you guys see it for yourself here. Okay, I'm going to go with the 167 because I saw that twice. So 167.0. So yeah, you guys saw that. I'm very not proud of it. Trust me, you guys. Definitely not proud of it. Like, I wish I would never... 
like gotten off keto around the holidays but this year I am sticking with it I am not getting off October is my like hardest month for for not like I want to say cheating but like October is my hardest month because uh, I love me some Halloween candy <laughs> and I love me some like like Dunkin Donuts pumpkin spice and like all that yummy stuff so this year I'm gonna be like very strict like angel and, and monica was like monica she started september 1st and she went through the whole month of october obviously with not even eating any candy and usually she would so i'm gonna be doing the same i'm just gonna put on these um shirt to you guys for today because like i said i don't plan on going anywhere today um, I'm going to make it like mostly my Saturdays. My daughter goes to group every other Saturday. So I think every other Saturday I'm going to like deep clean my house while she's not here. And then like the Saturdays that she is here, obviously I have to take care of her. So, um, but the Saturdays she's not here cause she's at group from 10 to three. Um, Yeah. Then I can deep clean, but um, I'm gonna go downstairs now. I put on this. I'm gonna untuck it in a second. I just did that when I was tying it. But I'm gonna go downstairs and get my coffee, and I'll see you guys in a second. So I'm back, guys. I'm just going to wash this pan so that I can make breakfast. Um, I need to do dishes, so I have a pan in here that needs to get washed so that I can make some eggs. I'm doing um two egg whites two egg whites and one piece of hickory smoked bacon now I know I'm, I'm trying to do as many as I can but um I've had this bacon in my freezer for a while and I figured one piece should be fine of this bacon hickory smoked bacon so that's what I'm gonna do and then I might have like one cheese stick with it you guys might do like one cheese stick with it. Right, guys I'm just gonna dry this off here so I'm gonna drink my coffee while I'm making my breakfast and it's 10 o'clock so I'm having my first meal of the day and I'm not gonna be eating anymore after six so my dinner I think I'm gonna try to make my make my breakfast um, kind of like a lighter side and then my dinner I'm gonna make it like a six point carb like I normally do with my meals with Angel so, um, yeah, but let me go get this set up and then I'll see you guys once I have it started to cook. So here you go guys, my breakfast is done. I'm going to have this for breakfast and watch a movie, but I had just two egg whites, one smoke, um, bacon, piece of smoked bacon and a cheese stick, which the cheese stick is one carb for this cheese stick. And then obviously you guys see how I have my, my coffee here. Which I think this is a two carb coffee. I'm not sure how much carbs are on coconut oil. But I think this is a two carb coffee. Hi guys, it's 11.25 and I'm going to clean up my living room here now. Um, I'm thinking about having, uh, you guys won't be surprised. <laughs> but I'm thinking about having a Michael Myers marathon today. Just because I'm home and I'm cleaning and everything. So I like to like either put some music on or watch a movie series. So I might like put some music on for now, but then when I'm done cleaning my living room, I'm going to put some Michael Myers on. So I'm going to go and check and see what kind of music I want to put on here. But yeah, um, I'm going to be doing a new series for my channel, What I Eat in a Day, so that I can keep myself, um, what can I say, uh, equipped, not equipped, but like keep myself 
having to be like right on track to show you guys exactly what I'm eating. And I know a lot of people could like lie and like eat something else off camera, but I'm gonna really not because, like I said, you guys, I want to get down to 140 again. So I am not gonna do that. Uh, -uh. I had my breakfast, the coffee. I had the, the egg whites, the, the, um, the bacon, and that cheese. And I'm not going to have a snack until probably um, one or two. I'll have a snack. I am think I'm going to have some um, some of the mozzarella cheese with the, um, with the um, sorry, the salami. Or I might, like, I might, I'm going to Google how many carbs for strawberries. I know you can have strawberries, but I'm going to see how much strawberries per carb. And I might just end up having like a little bit of strawberries is what I might end up having. Because um, I realized I should have probably added like a strawberry or two to my breakfast this morning. Because I'm trying to make my meals like kind of bigger since I'm only eating two times a day and having one snack. So yeah. But I'm going to put some music on and clean up the living room. There's not much I have to do, but I'm determined today, you guys, to put my couch cover back on. Like, I know I've been saying that, but I'm determined. <laughs> so I'm going to clean this area over here where my daughter makes the most mess. I'm going to put my couch cover on, and then I'm going to, like, tackle my dining area. So, and then I have to go upstairs. I think I'm going to go upstairs, like, right maybe 2.30 and put all my laundry away. Because that will be, like, the cutoff end of when I can do my stuff. So I'll just go upstairs, put on my laundry array, like, right before my daughter gets home. And just do everything down here for now. So, yeah, I'm going to put some music on and get going with this. Hey, guys. So, um, I have, I know this looks crowded, but that's all my daughter's toys over there. Got the couch made up. I cannot wait till I get my Halloween pillows. Then I'm going to switch out the pillows and put on my Halloween pillows. Put my Halloween blanket up there. But I got the couch cover on. This thing right here is going to be actually going to be going down in my basement. I'm going to take the batteries out of it and put it in my basement. That's my daughter's like shopping cart, which I'm going to be getting rid of soon. Right before her birthday, I'm going to get rid of that. And then obviously my TV's over here. I'm watching some Halloween. I've got my fall festival candle going. So yeah, I'm... Just now tackling my dining area now. Um, I was going to sweep and mop, you guys, but um, I'm thinking that I might wait till my daughter goes to bed tonight so that it's fresh and clean. Because I don't know if, like, with people coming in today, if they're going to get the floors dirty. So I might as well just wait till tonight to sweep and mop. But if I get everything else done today, then that will be the only thing that I have to do tonight. Unless my daughter comes home and makes a huge mess, then I'll be cleaning that up too. So, yeah, I'm just going to... um. I need to take everything off my table and fix my tablecloth. I need to do dishes. Um, I want to vacuum out there. I'm probably going to at least sweep out there, um, which won't be nothing, barely anything for that. Um, I need to bring down some stuff downstairs. Like, I'm going to bring that table downstairs today. Um, what else? Um, that's basically it. And then I need to go bring some boxes to my recycling. So I'm going to get going to everything and then at 2 30 i'm gonna go upstairs and put all my laundry away which that doesn't take me long because it's already folded i just gotta put it in the drawers so yeah i'm gonna get going because i don't want to be sitting here i want to be able to get going and do everything that i gotta do for today hi guys hope everybody's having a good saturday i am gonna do some dishes now so let me take all this silverware out of here that needs to come out might as well, I figured I'd talk to you guys while I did my tissues, like I normally do. <laughs> and then I need to go upstairs and put my clothes away before Aubrey gets home. Because it's already almost 2 and she gets out at 3. So, um, and she's not usually here before 4. So I gotta get going here. And it's not like I've been sitting around, I've been doing stuff, so... So let's go in with these dishes here. So like I said, I hope everybody's having, oh, I gotta throw this sponge out, you guys. Hopefully I have a new one back here. Oh! Last one, I have to pick up some more. How long do you guys use your sponge for? Just so, mine was ripping. Like the parts at the bottom were coming apart, so that's why I threw mine out. But I don't usually people use it for a long time. Or I use mine until it starts to smell. Because sometimes it gets that, like, musty. Well, not musty, but, like, that smell. So, that's usually when I throw mine out, too. 
So you guys, I'm kind of glad that I didn't go for my walk today just because I've gotten a lot done. And I know that if I would have went for my walk, that would have been like one less hour that I would have been home. So I'm glad that I took the opportunity to do some stuff around the house. I know my daughter's going to be tired when she gets home, too. But then it's going to be too late for her to get a nap, so I'm going to have to see how she's, her attitude is and everything. Because when she's tired, guys, oh, it's horrible. It is horrible when she's tired. Very horrible. So there's this, um, things, things called dot dot smile dresses. My daughter has some of them, and my um, my brother's girlfriend. She um, I'm trying to get my plates here, but she um, what, used to sell the dresses, and they're like thirty something dollars a piece, you guys. Like I don't have any right now because of how much they cost. But you know how Build Bear was doing that whole like go in and get um, and get. A build a bear for your child's age and everything like that. Well, there was a lady on who has her own dot dot smile group, and she like she's like oh in honor of like of what build a bear did or something like that. She's like oh I'm gonna try and do the same thing. So she's like you buy one dress and then you get another dress for your child's age, but plus you're paying shipping. So I told her I said how is that even a good deal? Because with Builder Bear, they didn't make you buy one and then get one for your child's age. They just gave you one for your child's age. So it's like for her to like try and do what Builder Bear did, it, it, it was nothing like what Builder Bear did. So like, I was like, how is this anything like what Builder Bear did? And we just didn't agree on it. Because <laughs> she's like, well, you're saving like $30 because your child's four. And then you pay like 30 something for a dress. So you're saving like $30. I'm like, yeah, but if you're trying to do it the way build a bear did it, then then we shouldn't be having to buy one. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. We shouldn't be having to buy one before, before we get one for our child's age. If that's not how build a bear did it. But whatever. Like I said, I haven't been buying any dresses or any of my shirts because with with my daughter's birthday coming up and um with back to school coming up I just can't be foolish and buy stuff like that like I can't be and I have bills and stuff like that so I can't be foolish and just buy stuff that I don't need like when I was living with my mom I had extra money each month because I only gave her $200 a month so I wasn't paying $850 I was paying $200 so like that's a big difference So, but I feel like it's more responsible for me to think that way, like, know that I can't be just going out and buying things that I don't need, like, you buy what you need and that's it. So I'm so sorry, you guys, about all these backed up videos. I've been... Every night when like I end the video, I get tired and I go to bed. So like, then I get up and I'm busy, so I forget to edit. I mean, I forget to put the video together. So um, today I'm gonna be caught up. I'm gonna get you guys all caught up today. Definitely all caught up. My stomach's hurting, you guys. I think after I'm done with this, I'm gonna have my snack. So obviously tomorrow we're not doing anything. 
just a relaxing day tomorrow. Oh, actually, we're just going to be going to my mom's for dinner like we always do. That's basically it. And I'm so happy, you guys. Um, my stepfather didn't leave today to go to Maine. So I get I get to see my, my puppy tomorrow. Jack. I get to see him tomorrow because he's home. So I'll get to see him. Sometimes I feel like I need a bigger sink. <laughs> or maybe I just need to do dishes sooner. <laughs> maybe what it is. But I, sometimes I feel like I need a bigger sink here. So tomorrow they're having a wrestling thing. It's like on pay-per-view. So I'm thinking I'm going to spend, the, I think it's like $4.99, $3.99 to become a member of the of like the WWE like website and you get a free month a month free and then that's when they charge your card. So I'm thinking I'm going to sign up for it so that I can watch the pay-per-view thing tomorrow. Because if you're part of their website, you can go online and watch the pay-per-view stuff. You don't have to actually watch it on your TV through pay-per-view. So I think I'm going to do that because that's that would be a lot cheaper than me like going over and watching it on my brother's TV and then paying him back. So, I think I'm going to do that, you guys. And then tomorrow at 6 o'clock, they're having this, um, this, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know if it was it be like a biography or something about Jeffrey, no, I'm sorry, Ted Bundy. It's on oxygen at 6 o'clock for me. I'm in Massachusetts, so 6 o'clock for me. It's on. Um, yeah, it's about Ted Bundy. And that man is sick. <laughs> Like I feel he, like him and him and Jeffrey Dahmer are like right there with each other. Like sick, 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 completely sick. Like why would you want to kill a lady and then that and then have sex with her when she's dead? Like that's what Ted Bundy did. She, he would kill his kill all these women. Some of them were even like girls. They weren't even women yet. And he would kill them and then have sex with them. And then he even like ha he had a girlfriend and he would have his girlfriend pretend that she was like act dead while they were having sex i'm like what that is crazy and he got the death penalty but jeffrey dahmer he was killed in jail um a jail a person that was in jail with him killed him so he didn't get the death penalty he he, he was in life he was in prison for life but a, a prison mate ended up killing him so but Ted Bundy, Ted Bundy, he did get the execution. I can't wait to get back to my walk on Monday, to my actual track that I go to. Because yesterday was so different for me. I'm like, what am I doing back here at this track? But I guess on Fridays, I'm going to have to be going back to my old track. Just because, like I said, my stroller is too big to fit through the areas. My stomach is hurting, you guys. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry. I'm thinking it's because I'm hungry. But I ate at like 10.50. And then I think it's like almost 2 now. So I feel like I'm going to have a snack. And then I won't eat until I have my dinner.
last one. Clean up my sink here. And this stuff over here is just um, stuff I had outside from when I water my flowers. So I'm just going to leave sitting over here. So I'm all done. Oh my goodness, something just fell. Oh my goodness. So yeah guys, I'm gonna go upstairs now and put laundry away. So I'll see you guys when I get upstairs. Okay guys, I'm gonna head upstairs now and go put some laundry away. Um, I got my snack here. I looked online and it's like two point something for the carbs for my strawberries. So I feel like that's not too bad. Definitely since I've only had three carbs so far today. So I feel like that's not bad. But I'm gonna go eat this while I put some clothes away. I'll put the lights on in a second, you guys. Ooh. I didn't sleep up here last night because um put the light on. But yeah, I didn't sleep up here last night because Fridays I always sleep downstairs. But oh my god, you guys. Mm. I know it would be cheaper for me to make it myself, but mm. so good. So good. Well, um, three medium strawberries is what I'm going to have. Hold on, guys. Hey, sorry, guys. My, um, brother's girlfriend came in the house real quick. Well, I'm going to eat my snack and put my laundry away, and I'm going to listen to some music, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Oh! Look who's home. I'm just feeding my little bells for a second. Yeah, and then, Aubrey's home now. Yeah. Just in time. I just got downstairs from laundry. Yep, yeah, just so in just time. Just in time. Hi. I just had to get my. I just had to get the girl ready for her little nap. You had a good time, Mom. group? I did, Mom. Yeah. Okay. So I guess this is the only thing she's got left over, guys. Is just the mom. Guys, little covered raisins drink. and a couple yes, of these, which I'm surprised yes. these aren't okay, gone. Uh -huh. And her, BC, her ABA didn't okay. realize she had this. So that's why this isn't gone. But, but if she would have realized that this would have been gone. But yeah, it's um, it's three almost 3.30. So she's home now. I, was, I just got downstairs from... Um, just got downstairs from putting laundry away. I'm going to put a movie on here now. Living room is so much more like open area now that I took that thing downstairs. Ah, right, remember me put your activity table downstairs, see? Okay. Because you don't play with it anymore, so I put um, it downstairs. I'm going to use these balls for my little balls, and here's this pacifier for the girl of God. Okay, go ahead. Go She's something. She comes home and goes right for her babies. Uh-huh. So, yeah, you guys, Um, I actually need to go. I'm going to go check right now because I know I was talking to... Um, Angel about it, but I told her how I was going to have some kielbasa for dinner, um, some turkey kielbasa. Um, so I got to go check. She, she told me to ask her, sorry, she asked me to tell her how many carbs were in it because some of them do have a lot of carbs, she said. So I'm going to check here. Um, let me see here. So this looks like it is two carbs for two ounces. So Oh, that's not that good, you guys. Um, I'll have to talk to her and see what she says. Um, I've only had a total of six carbs today, you guys, which is very good. That is very good, you guys. Six carbs total today. I had three carbs for my um, for my brunch, and then I had like three carbs for my snack. This is two carbs for two ounces, which I have my food scale, so I should see how much two ounces is. 
But um, if I can get, I'm going to ask um, Angel if I can get away with maybe having like three ounces and see how much that is. But it says uncured turkey kibasa, all natural. So I had two of these in my freezer, so I might end up giving the second one to my mom. Yeah, I'll be right there to shut it off. I have to go shut the AC off real quick. Hi guys, it's I think it's like right four o'clock. Yep, exactly four o'clock right on the dot. So in about a half hour, I am going to get dinner ready. Um, I'm gonna end up having three ounces of the kibasa, which will be three carbs. Um, and then I think I'm gonna have uh, maybe some broccoli. Um, I'll have to figure out how many carbs that is. Let me see here. I'm gonna take this water out so I can have this water. Let's see here, you guys. So for, I'm gonna have, um, I can have I can have one and one fourth cups for two carbs. So yes. I'm gonna have some kabasa with some mustard and broccoli for dinner. That's what I'm having, you guys. And broccoli is my favorite um, vegetable to get in with keto. Definitely my favorite. So yes. And I've been, um, as you guys will see, um, I'm doing, a, like I said earlier, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be doing a new series of what I eat in a day. So I already recorded the last two things that I've eaten. So um, once I get dinner ready, I'll record that and you guys will see that tonight because I'm gonna upload it per day and I'm gonna make sure that I do so it's like back to back so you guys can get them in the accurate day. So, but yeah, I'm gonna, it, this, it says one, there's um, four servings and one and one fourth cup for two carbs. Right there, you guys, if you guys can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna have. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on it, maybe a little bit of butter on it. And I heard that carry gold butter is like the best butter to have when you're on keto, because it has just the right amount of fat that you need. So that's what I'm gonna have. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. <clears throat> but for now, um, my daughter did so good, she ate her sandwich. The only thing she didn't eat was she didn't finish the rest of her um, her yogurt covered raisins, which was all fine. And she had like a little bit left of her cheese curls, which was fine, but she ate her sandwich, she had her juice box. So she ate good at group. So I'm just putting some stuff away here real quick. Put the silverware away that I have over here. It's been nice staying occupied during the day because then you're like busy and you're not even thinking about like snacking or eating, so. this ice tray real quick that's in there so you guys I'm just gonna go um I'm gonna go sit with my laptop for a half hour and look at some Zulily stuff and some everything else then at 4 30 I'm gonna get dinner ready and then I'll eat by like five and then I'll be done for the day because by six o'clock I can't eat anymore for the rest of the day so um that's it I'll see you guys once I get dinner ready hey guys it is 5 15 and I just got my dinner Okay, you don't have to eat the rest. Aubrey doesn't want to eat the rest of hers. But as you guys can see here, 
I got my food here. Oh, sorry guys, I'll put it down here. You can see there. Hey guys, um, it's 10 o'clock and I am watching some Law and Order SVU and then I'm gonna go up and take a shower and go to bed. But you guys, I, I feel like I'm doing so good. Um, I haven't eaten since 5.30 and like normally that's not how I am. <laughs> Like, normally I stick with my 20 carbs, but I still eat, like, later. Um, because usually I go for my walk, and then I'm eating afterwards. So, I'm always, I always stick with my 20 carbs, but I usually eat later and everything. But I'm going to be eating between 10 and 6 now, so it's like, that's all I have. But I feel like I'm doing really good. Um, even though I, I'm watching, like, Eric the Electric right now, and it's like, oh my god, everything he's eating is so good. <laughs> but yeah um i just gotta clean up the living room and then i got and then i'll go to bed but um yeah just wanted to tell you guys what i was doing real quick hey guys it's 11 55 and i am tired i only came downstairs basically to shut the tv off and that's basically it so i just sat down for a second to tell you guys what i was doing but um i'm gonna shut the tv off and go to bed so um i will see you guys in the morning